India's northeast region has immense potential to become one of the most sought after tourism hotspot and many foreign investors are eyeing on to invest and expand business relations with the region's different sectors with more focus on tourism which has cast a spell in the global tourism map. Recently, U.S. Ambassador Kenneth Jastar visited the northeastern state of Tripura and explored the state's potential and discussed on the need to improve infrastructure in the region. On a similar note, three officials from Embassy of America visited to Imphal to explore ways and means of developing border trade. Let's have a look. There is no denying the fact that India's northeast region is blessed with abundant natural resources and to explore the unexplored is always a profitable business. Realizing its immense investment potential, many foreign investors are eyeing the region for amplifying investments, especially in the tourism sector. Recently, U.S. Ambassador to India Kenneth Jastar was on a two-day maiden visit to Tripura where he discussed ways and means to improve infrastructure in the northeast region. Further, after visiting various tourist spots including the famous Nirmahal, Tripura State Museum in the state, Jastar expressed that the state and the region have huge tourism potential, but for that, infrastructure development is a prerequisite. It's a wonderful tour here of the State Museum. We're going to go into the border very shortly. We also visited the power plant uh, and we had a beautiful cultural exhibit last night uh, at dinner time. So it's really been a memorable trip and from my perspective this is a wonderful part of India and I'm hoping that the United States can increase its economic activity and interaction with the northeast of India. During his visit, the U.S. envoy met Chief Minister of Tripura, Biplab Kumar Dev, and discussed issues pertaining to business, connectivity, and Indo-U.S. relations. Later, the U.S. envoy, along with few officials, visited the India-Bangladesh border at Akora and observed the beating retreat ceremony between the two countries' border guards, BSF and BGP, and appreciated the contribution made by the border guards in safeguarding the nations. Now, it's been wonderful to be here today to see the connectivity in the region between India and Bangladesh and the contribution that the United States has made. When I visited the power plant today, there were GE engines that were driving the power system. And that, I think, is an example of how we can work together in partnership to increase the regional connectivity. And it's really wonderful to see the relationship between India and Bangladesh and how this is a friendly border where people can go back and forth easily. So it's been a most enjoyable day and I'm delighted to be here. Tourism के लिए सबसे पहले जो अच्छा बीबर और साथ साथ जो इनको डर भय ना रहे, law and order, law and order ठीक है और लोगों का व्यवहार ठीक है, तो tourist मेरे पास जो है वो देखने के लिए आएगा आपके पास मेरे पास उनकोटी है, किसी के पास है क्या? नहीं है, तो क्यों नहीं देखने के लिए आएगा? वो उसको एक्सपोजर देना पड़ता है सरकार का ड्यूटी है सरकार उस दिशा में काम कर रहा है और जरूर जो अमेरिकन एम्बेसडर ने कहा है जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर का जरूरत है तो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर का एक दिन में इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर तैयार नहीं होता किंतु बिहेवियर चेंज करने में दो साल नहीं लगता वो सात दिन प्रैक्टिस करने से आ जाती है on a similar note, three officials from Embassy from America visited Manipur's capital Imphal to explore the ways and means of developing border trade as well as take a keen interest in developing infrastructure as a priority in the state. The team comprised of Robert Gerverick, Minister Council Economic Environment, Science and Technology Affairs, and Geoffrey Wessel, Trade and Connectivity Officer of Embassy of United States of America. The U.S. Embassy in New Delhi uh, but we have been working very closely with the government of India uh, on a whole variety of, of economic uh, development programs on trade and investment, uh, also looking at uh, environment, science and technology cooperation. Moreover, the U.S. investors are also looking forward to opportunities to invest in the Northeast and GE engines are one of the sectors which top the priority list along with a few other aspects. <laughs> 